for me, the, the key issue is using what I'm good at, which is measuring how the lungs work, to gain a better understanding of how lung diseases such as asthma, cystic fibrosis, or how preterm birth can change how the lung works, to help children and their families uh, and doctors and other health professionals better diagnose and, and manage these children so that they don't have to go to emergency in the middle of the night so that they can play the sports that they want to play. And for me, being able to know that the work that I'm doing is putting something back into the community and helping these families is a big part of why I do it. Over the last five years, we've been doing a number of studies asking that question. How does being born preterm affect your lungs? Are they able to do the things that every other child would do? Um, and we've come up with some you know, really surprising results. Um, we found that 50% of children who are, 10 year old, who are 10 years old report having symptoms with exercise in the last three months. The normal population would be 5 to 10%. That's, that's a huge difference. This wasn't well recognised before. Is it because they were born preterm? Is it because that preterm birth is causing other problems that's then escalating? We don't know the answer to those questions yet. But what it does tell us is that we need to ask more questions. And if we can ask those questions in the right way, and we can then communicate those results back to the neonatologists so that they can be saying, OK, well, we know that this particular treatment is associated with poor lung health when these children are 10. So what can we do to improve the way we use that treatment so that that doesn't happen? So we've been working a lot with trying to measure lung function of preschool children and we're doing this in all of our other programs as well. But one of the things we're really focusing on is can we help diagnose exercise induced asthma in young children? So we're focusing on four to seven year olds at the moment. Um, we did some work earlier this year to see if it was feasible to do the same tests that we do in older children and adults in young children but using the lung function tests that young children can do. And we were able to show with help of both children who have exercise problems, but also healthy children as well, um, that we can do those tests. Um, and we're now doing a study to see uh, in a bigger population to see whether the, the results we get from that test matches what happens when these children exercise. And if this study works out and if we can show that it does, then potentially with more research we have a test that could be used in all paediatric hospitals so that if family does have a four or five year old who they think might have exercise induced asthma, that they'd be able to go along, do this test, and if it's shown to be positive, then they can go on to the appropriate management. And with good management, there's no reason why they should have symptoms again. Um, the life expectancy uh, for individuals born with cystic fibrosis has gone from the early 20s to the mid 30s. Um, and we now expect that a child born with cystic fibrosis in 2013 may well live into their 50s. And when you think in the short time frame that we could be uh, you know, almost doubling the life expectancy of individuals with cystic fibrosis, that gives them fantastic hope. You know, they, didn't have to, they didn't ever think about, will I go to university or what will I do for my career before? It just wasn't something that families invested time in. And now it's vitally important that the discussions early on with all of these families who have infants and young children with cystic fibrosis is your child will go to university, they will have a career, they can do the things that everybody else is out there. Now that's fantastic and it gives these families great hope. And I think if we can replicate that type of success in, the, in every other aspect that the Telethon Institute's involved in, then you know, we will leave, this, leave, leave Western Australia, Australia and the world a much better place.